Welcome once again to another unboxing video. There's going to be quite a few of these coming up. I've got another thing over there that it's going to uh, be its own separate video. This is an unboxing video for the Camp Chef Deluxe Outdoor Oven. There's a picture of it on the front. All right, let's get to it. It's very well. Got a lot of tape. Turn this around towards the light a little better. Oh. It's very compact. Here we've got a Camp Chef catalog, so they show you all the other things that they sell that you might want to spend your money on. And here's the instruction booklet for this oven. And uh, yeah, we'll probably go through, look at that. Now for a more detailed look at this Camp Chef oven stove combo. We paid $199.99, and that included shipping. I found this from a seller on eBay. See on this side here, it's got the output. Top burners have a maximum output of 7,500 BTU per hour each. The oven is 3,000 BTU per hour. Camp Chef is in Utah. There's the website, campchef.com. They sell a lot of different kinds of things and not just cooking uh, items. Lots of outdoor kinds of things. This is the back side of the unit. We've got the lines running here. It's, kinda, it's got an open area. That's where the burners are. This is all stainless steel. It feels pretty durable and rugged. The top up here has got these little metal hinges. I'm gonna walk her around to the other side. And over here we have the same sticker as I showed previously. This looks as though it is in Spanish. It's got handles here on the sides, um, and it's pretty easy to pick up. I think it weighs, uh, is advertised to weigh about 32 pounds. It feels about right. The handle here, it's got this fabric cover on it. It's on here with Velcro, so you can remove it. But uh, this is so that, I'm sure when this is in operation, this all of this gets pretty hot, so that's to uh, avoid burning your hand. Oven, it's got a glass piece here. It's just a single piece of glass. It's not a double pane. The oven uh, door is made of metal. This is all fastened. Uh, two racks. It's got three slots on the side for arranging these racks in here. Uh, this is, looks like the, I don't know what this is, some sort of connector back here for the gas. We haven't taken that out yet. It's got three knobs on the front. This is range control, range control, and oven control in the middle. Lighting instructions. Read all instructions before lighting. Open oven door and lid during lighting. If the ignition does not occur in five seconds, turn the burner controls off, wait five minutes, repeat. 
the lighting procedure. Then it's got it over here in uh, French or Spanish or something. Here is the gauge on the front for the temperature. Nice top cover. They've got their camp chef emblem on the front top. This piece here, it's a little thinner metal, but it feels sturdy enough. Here's the burners. Okay, I figured out how to secure the windshield um, components. It's got these little clips here on the side and there's a slot. And you just squeeze these and they slide inside that slot on both sides. We will be hooking this thing up as soon as we can and testing it out. I wouldn't want to have to carry this thing a super long distance, but it's, uh, it's, it's manageable to be picked up and moved. But as you can see, this kind of gives an idea of the size. I'm five foot five and there you go. Dave's trying to blow us up inside the house with a new camp stove. Okay, not really. But he's using our small propane bottle, which this thing is made to work with these types of bottles. And also a big 20 pounder, which is what we'll be using probably most of the time. But then to use that, we need to get a, a hose. So anyway, he lit, he lit the oven. The oven part is on right now. Maybe it's just some sort of residual oil. They said mm -hmm. that people on the internet claimed that the first time they burned this sucker that it made a lot of stink, and I can smell stink. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave so, it heat up. You also lit the top burners, and they... There it is. And you adjust the temperature down. But to light it, you turn them all the way to high. So it's going.